Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is doing really good. Happy Monday morning. I hope everybody had a really, really good weekend. I had an okay weekend. Mine was a little messy, a little deal with quarantine emotional stuff. But for the most part, I'm just happy everybody is safe and healthy in my house. I hope that everybody is safe and happy in yours as well. I have some... Um, my cousin, she's the best. She waits in long Starbucks lines so that I can have delicious caramel macchiato this morning. I have a water too, because Starbucks water is really good. I know that um, if you follow me on Facebook, I had talked about moving from one-time use plastic bottles to a pure system in my own home. Love it, um, absolutely love it. I'm really, really happy with the taste of the water and I have not felt like grabbing a bottle of water. I have like an emergency storage under my table for just leftovers from when we were buying like a case every couple days. Um, I hadn't felt like grabbing a bottle. I have a plastic jug that I've been drinking out of and it's been wonderful. I've been really, really, really happy with it. The drug that goes in the fridge stays really crisp and cool and even the water that's like kind of just coolish and room temperature coming out of the sink is tasting fantastic. So super, super, super purchased by me. The whole house has been happy with it. So I'm really excited to, to get away from that one time use plastic bottle. But let's talk about books. If you notice the title of this YouTube video, <laughs> I read My Dark Vanessa by Kate Russell. So you don't have to because it was a read. How I came across this book, let's start there. Um, it was on Oprah's book club and there was a big controversy. I saw it on MSN where it had been dropped from Oprah's book club. And she's only done that like one other time or something, but people were upset about the controversial material in the book. Well, I've read some controversial books so I was like, I'm going to give this one a read and see what is up with it and see if it's as, as controversial as people say it is. First of all, it is a very disturbing subject matter and she does not hold any punches. The scene where she has sex with her teacher for the first time, if you don't know what this book is about, it's about a 15, 16 year old student at a boarding school who has an affair with her teacher. Um, so the scene where Vanessa has sex with her teacher for the first time is rape. It's, it's blatantly rape. Um, the girl is crying, she's not interested, and the teacher is continuing. So it's very descriptive, it's very... She doesn't, like I said, pull back any punches in these scenes. So that definitely could be a trigger warning for anybody who's been in that situation before. Um, whether it was with the teacher or just with another person. As well as these scenes that are very dis well described and very investing. The problem that I had with this book, the main problem that I have with this book, and what could have saved it for me, is, is it's a series of flashbacks between when the affair was actually going on and Vanessa and her adult life. Vanessa is not a very likable character. She's, she's kind of rude. She's thrown her life away, essentially. She's working as a concierge at a hotel. She went to college, and she's not using her English degree, from what I understand. She was an amazing poet, and she squandered that. Um, I understand she had so much trauma in her youth, but she's not even willing to realize the trauma that she's had in her youth. She keeps defending Mr. Strain, that's the teacher's name, until the day that he dies. She defends him that, oh, it wasn't like that with us. It wasn't, I loved him and he loved me. It was different. But she's let this completely ruin her life rather than taking acknowledgement of the situation, saying, yes, I was the victim but I'm not going to let it determine who I am. I'm not going to let it ruin my life. I know as somebody who's never had that kind of a situation, it's very easy for me to say just 
deal with it and, and try to move on with your life. So I know that that's like not something I've ever had to deal with, but I just did not find Vanessa to be a likable character. She was very lazy and rude and, and I feel like if Kate Russell had made Vanessa a more likable character, gave her a better personality, something, I would have cared more about what happened in this book or cared more about what happened to her. But throughout the entire book, I really, she came across as whiny and dark and lazy and kind of just throwing away all of these opportunities that are given to her. Like this, this good school, like the college that she gets to go to. She just kind of squanders everything when there are people that would kill for these opportunities. So, I, I read the book. You please, if you like dark material, read the book as well. It's called My Dark Vanessa. I, I'm giving you an honest book review on it. I didn't care for it. It was too dark, too... The characters I didn't care about, I didn't get invested in what happened to them. And that's, that's, and that's all I'm going to say about it, because I'd rather talk about books that I really love. But I read it for you guys, um, because it is something that's in the media, it's something that people are talking about right now. It is something that's controversial, and I could have really liked it. Like, I do like things that are a little darker sometimes. But this just wasn't my cup of tea. Um, if you do like it, please comment down below and let me know what you liked about it. So maybe I can see it from a different mind or viewpoint. It just wasn't, it wasn't the book for me. But I'm glad that I read it. I say that about every book I read. Because I learned something from it. Or I formed an opinion about it. So, what are we reading next? Next up on my list, I've been saying this for a little while now, um, but the very next book I'm reading is Ace Coon's The Rose of Sarajevo. I've talked a little bit about Ace Coon and the two books of hers that I'm, I've read one and I'm going to read The Rose of Sarajevo. They are all war drama historical books. Um, the first one that I read, The Last Train to Istanbul, I believe is um, World War II based. Um, I need to do, go through and make sure it's not World War One, but I'm pretty sure it was World War Two. And then the Rosa Sarajevo takes place during the um, Serbian Revolution. So I'm really excited to read this new one and to kind of refresh myself on the first one. And my next video will be about these two books that are incredible um, by Ace Coon. And, and I love historical fiction. I love historical fiction. Especially when you throw in um, lots of emotional distraughtness and family drama. That's, that's right in my cup of tea. Um, also, I picked up another Kristen Hanna. She's the person who wrote the, um, the Nightingale, which I talked about a few books back. Um, about the World War II sisters in France. So she wrote another book. This one is called Firefly Lane. Firefly Lane. And it is basically just a book about... This one I'm pretty sure is Sisters. So it's two sisters. She writes a lot of family stuff during different situations um, because it was two sisters in the Nightingale as well. So I'm excited to read Kristen Hanna's The Firefly Lane. And then... I know that I just picked up um, J.R. Ward's newest Black Dagger Brotherhood book as well. So we've got lots on the, the fold to read. I'm super excited about it. Thank you everybody who's picked up my book, by the way. I have sold 20-something copies of my book, and that is amazing to me for somebody who published it myself, who put in all the money and all the work into getting it copywritten and did the cover art. and. I put a lot of work into the book, so I really, really, really appreciate everybody who has gone out and bought The Gift by Lauren Heinold. You guys are amazing. And on that note, we're going to enjoy some great coffee today. Happy Monday. And what are you guys reading?